Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to do a simple tutorial on how to install new workbenches on FreeCAD the super easy way. Now, there's another way where you can download the file from GitHub, but there's a built in tool on FreeCAD to download it. So, what you're going to need is usually the newest version on, of FreeCAD. Now, this probably won't work on older versions, just make sure you know that. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go into tools, I'm going to go into add on manager. Now, in this uh, place right here we can see all the add-ons that are commonly used some of these are really good so right now I'm looking for FC gear that's a super common add-on so it is what is it right there so after we selected the add-on we want we're just going to do install updates install slash update selected so we're going to click on that Want to wait until it downloads. It might take a couple minutes, it might take a couple seconds, who knows? Okay, so that took about 10 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. So after that, we can go and select close, and FreeCAD is going to need to restart for the for the workbench to show up. So we're going to select okay, and it's going to automatically close and restart itself. So here we are back in FreeCAD. We're gonna if we create a new project and we select the workbench. Let me just close that and select the workbench, and you should see our new workbench is right there. And it's that easy to install a new workbench into FreeCAD. Okay, so after that, I guess I will just show you how to uninstall uh, new workbenches you installed. So again, we're gonna go back into Tools, Add-on Manager. Wait until this loads. Now we're going to find the add-on we don't want anymore, which is FC gear. We're going to click on that. Wait until it loads a little bit. Then we're going to select uninstall selected. We're going to click it. And that is all we have to do. Then if we press close, we're going to do another restart. So we're going to do that. Wait until it restarts. And if we look back into our workbench, uh, now if we look back, we cannot find the workbench anymore. So that's how you uninstall a workbench. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you like it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Check out my main channel, Tabletop Robotics. Links in the, links in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.